Ramon, bye.
if they are not like independent chapters, they are kind of interlinked. So what uh, the beauty of this is that they are not just hodgepodge of things. Uh, the things we learn are reversible. For example, the multiplication we perform using the sutras, the reverse of that, you can do the divisions uh, by the same sutra and get an answer in a single line. Same thing applies for the square roots. You could do square roots using the sutra and the reverse of that, you will be able to do, do the squares and get your answers quickly. So, as a parent, um, you know, like, um, these days with the common core and every other thing going on in the school, how do you think Vedic math would help each and every child to uh, better understand math? I'm glad you asked that question. Uh, firstly, if you notice that even in the uh, curriculum, in the American curriculum and all around the world, now they're introducing mathematics using mental math, which is nothing but where, what comes from basic mathematics. These type of things are not only just useful in the curriculum in the school, as these kids appear for some of the entrance exam and the SATs, they have many different ways of solving the problem and try to get to the answer quickly. Hope that answers your question. And can I ask you a question? You were a parent as well as an assistant teacher. Uh, what did you think of this class? Well, thank you for asking that question. Um, I think from a parent perspective as well as a um, assistant teacher perspective, I think I've seen growth in all the kids who uh, joined uh, Vedic Math Club this year. I think most of the kids, they know addition and subtraction, but this is, class is not about teaching addition and subtraction. This class is how you can make numbers as your friends and play with them. Uh, I think this class teaches strategies and skills as to how you can take your love for math and go beyond with it. It's not simple addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, which all of us already learn at some point of uh, in, in our life in the school. But this is like going a step beyond that and how to have math as your friend throughout your life. I hope that answers the question. Very well said. I think you are ready to be a teacher now. <laughs> socialism, communism, etc. In the face of ancient seers in this religion, have pondered about the basic questions of life just as how we are. Why are we living? Such problems were given proper thoughts and certain ways for search. Research did those who could learn a few years early in search, early depths in scriptures. So instead of calling them ism, it's a better way to call it a way of life. Many people think that our religion's name is Hindu, but this is not his actual name. It's just a part of it. The, clean, the complete name of our religion is Vedic Sadat and Hindu Dharma. With seven rules, our religion applies for its name that it has four terms. First is Vedic, second is Sadat, third is Hindu, and last is Dharma. Today we will be going on with these terms and rules so we can fully understand the name and nature of the religion. Let us start with the rules. Our religion has seven basic rules. Let us show you them. Satyam Vada uh, means always speak the truth. Dharma Chara means always do your duties. Deva Baba means always respect your mother. Pitu Deva Baba means always respect your father. Acharya Deva Baba means always respect your teachers. Titi Devo Baba means always respect your guests. And Swadhyaya Prabhadaha means never be lazy for self studies. We will now move on to the first term of our religion, which is Vedic. Vedic means religion, which is Vedic in nature, which is from the Vedas. Which is best which has been around since the time of Vedas and is around currently as it respects and keeps its Vedic self by and large. Veda is the most ancient literature of the world. No other literature is as old as Veda. Veda has different meanings as it is derived from different Vedic 
Whether to know is knowledge, whether to exist is existence, whether to obtain is obtaining, whether to think is thinking. There are four Vedas. The first is Rig Ved, the second is Yadra Ved, the third is Sam Ved, and the fourth is Akta Ved. These are the meaning of the Vedas. The Vedas are a collection of hymns and other religious texts composed in India between about 1500 and 10,000 BCE. It includes elements such as liturgical materials, such as well as as well as mythological accounts, poems, prayers, and formulas considered to be sacred by the Vedic religion. There are four Vedas to be mentioned. Their names are Rig Ved, Yajur Ved, Sam Ved, and Atam Ved. Each Veda is divided into four parts: Samhita, Brahmana, Aramika, and Upanishad. The Vedas explore all the deeper questions of life. For example, who we are, why we are here, and how the universe was created. The second term is Sanatana. Sanatana means eternal, a religion which is Sanatana, means one which stays forever. It is endless. When we say Sanatana, Dharma, we can explain it in two different ways. The first is Sanatya Dharma, a religion of one who is eternal. The Lord, the highest reality, is eternal. It is never born or created, and it will never die or perish. The second is Sanatya Dharma, meaning a religion itself is eternal, which is kept forever. From history, we can see that religion has sustained its Self over a course of thousands of years. Speaking of history, Sanatana has made several appearances in history. In the Bhagavad Gita, they have addressed Lord Krishna as Sanatana. In Mahabharata, they have also designated the highest reality as Sanatana. But not only that, the meaning of Sanskrit Shoka in Mahabharata is the root of this eternal religion is itself eternal. Dr. S. Radha Krishna, the second president of India, everyone said, Hinduism is a movement, not a position, a process, not a cult, a growing tradition, not a fixed revolution. The third term is Hindu. Like the word India, the word Hindu is for is a foreign origin. The Persians pronounce the word Sindhu as Hindu. That name came from the people living on the banks of the Sindhu River. So the word of our third term is from the Persian language. Before the 15th century, the word Hindu was unknown to India. Before the 15th century, we didn't know this unknown word would exist as our religion's known name. Mantra and Kalika Purana gave us Hindu. The meaning of this sloka is right from the Himalaya up to the Indo Lake. The land which is created by God is known as Hindu Satyana. It's as short as a Hindu. I must eliminate evil, be humble in behavior, and be generous to donate to who live around me, whether it be man or animal. The word Hindu for this Sanatan Vedic religion is very, very late developed. Most Western scholars think that Dharma means religion, but that's but according to Hinduism, it's wrong. Dharma is the path of life. And along life, there are things like karma. When you do something, it comes back. Like 
if you help someone, you get helped back later in life. Some characteristics of Hinduism are reverence for the Vedas, belief in rebirth, ritualism, faith in Guru, belief in reincarnation, three ways of salvation, bhakti, devotion, jnana, knowledge, and karma, action, respect for cow, vegetarianism, following the tradition, and insistence of moral behavior. This book, this book is amazing. Every problem in your life that you might be facing, you open a page and you find your answer. So that's the book Shilpati took upon, requested by Praveen Bhai, and she translated, and now it's being published in Shantikunj. So many, many French people will be benefiting from that book. So please, we would like to honor you. We have, hold on. We would like to honor her. This is amazing. She's also in the process of translating a second book. So please give her a huge round of applause. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Shaitanya. And look at the cover. This is how it
कुछ आप उस शक्ति को पहचान गए जिस दिन उस दिन आपके अंदर जब आत्मा का पैदा होगा और वो मनो आपसे इतने ऐसे सौ काम करा लेगा जिसको आप सोच नहीं सकते
because we'll uh, make sure that we have a carpool and we'll take your children there. They'll be earning 12 hours of volunteer hours, so please, this is an opportunity you don't want to miss. They'll have International Yoga Day, then they'll have volunteer opportunities, and in the evening there'll be a DPF where students can volunteer. So you'll be getting 12 hours of volunteers, uh, so please email me if you're interested in coming. For next year, looking ahead, there are many, many clubs that kids are coming up with. We have, of course, the chess club, the debate club, the art club. We are also going to have sign language club. We are going to have drama club, innovation club, and science club. Keep looking out for all these various clubs that kids are coming up with. I mean, who would have thought we would be teaching sign language? Well, we have wonderful talent. One more.